Hello fellow truthers and YouTubers, welcome to my new channel. I promise to update with a few videos today because there's a lot of information and very important information that's coming in uh, regarding the state of affairs, the state of the economy and the country and just global economy of the world and western uh, homogeny. So here's the rundown. Uh, the Fed, the U.S. Federal Reserve, is pumping 7.5 trillion dollars into into our banks, into one current bank that is currently undisclosed, um, to keep it going, to keep the stop, the basically the whole stock market from crashing totally, um, and they're doing it through 75 billion dollars a day. So they're pumping 75 billion dollars a day into a into a bank uh, and golden this information came from Goldman Sachs an insider at Goldman Sachs um, yeah so the Federal Reserve which is which has been corrupted since 1930s when, when it was invented when uh, we switched from the golden standard you know into the petrodollar so the state of affairs is yeah the the stock market is plunging behind the scenes i mean this has been this has been predicted for a while already but it's basically coming to fruition very quickly and so they're pumping the u.s federal reserve is pumping 75 billion dollars a day into an unnamed bank to keep it from crashing and sending you know our economy into just distress so they're doing this every single day until october 10th and they're warning there's going to be a, a great upheaval as it's, you know, quoted, quote unquote, great upheaval in October. And as you know, October has, has always been a very rough month for the stock market. That's when the stock market crashed in uh, 1928. So it's becoming, you know, it's becoming apparent. And ac according to my sources... You know my insider sources October is gonna be a very shaky month uh, for our stock market we might see plunges that we would never seen before and it's it's just the state of affairs is very bad with with the insider you know insider economy and Donald Trump has been you know fighting he's been very vocal about the Federal Reserve and how they're cor they're corrupt you know politically corrupt and they have their own agenda and they they have just been pumping inflation pumping paper fiat currency into our economy which is backed by nothing since the petrol dollar is uh, has been degrading and and Russia and China has been buying up gold for the past few years at you know incredible gigantic rates and the U.S. has been lagging behind, just printing cash and money. So the Federal Reserve, you know, it could do that. It could pump $7.5 trillion into an unnamed bank. Um, you know, according to insider sources at Goldman Sachs, like I said. And, you know, and they're, they're, trying, to, they're trying to find the next step, what to do next. Which, you know, which doesn't look too promising because you know this has been a long time coming since 2008 our economy and our finances and our debts haven't been fixed but have been running on a bubble an inflated bubble so I'm here to relay this news to you and even as a few days ago as Emmanuel Macron you know even globalist Emmanuel Macron has said that uh, basically the the rule of western you know western um way of life western civilization meaning america it's basically rule and its grasp on the world is uh basically you know nearing its end as eastern countries like russia russia china india iran are all you know even venezuela could be accounted to it are all you know uh, getting together, getting together into this new ally, you know, ally state, state, um, 
you know, even with BRICS that came out years ago, but now it's mostly Russia and China, the two, the two, you know, global superpowers besides America, have just been rising economically, while the U.S. has been, you know, tumbling down its own rabbit hole, as as we can, you know, ironically say. So, so the Fed, the corrupt Fed, which is, you, you know, run by the bankers and God knows who behind the scenes, uh, has been, has been pumping and it just came to the attention, you know, as an insider has, a whistleblower has blown the lid off the story that the Fed is running out of time and, you know, this undisclosed named unnamed bank which you know i have certain uh predictions of what it is but i'm not gonna say due to you know uh just not wanting to be wrong just to relay the most truthful information i can and with the whole joe biden story blowing up in uh, democrats faces right now as i posted the video check check out the video that i posted before this today about the jo whole joe biden hunter biden and ukraine crisis so things aren't looking good for our country you know and um maybe this will be a change not not to scare anyone that it's going to be a global collapse or doom and gloom even though i mean anything's possible nowadays nothing's nothing surprises me or most people anymore regarding you know these corrupt these corrupt ways of uh ruling the world and as i stated macron even said you know in a public speech that the days of western you know power over power and global rule over countries is nearing its end and we seen the decline for years through, uh, through the many wars in the civil, e in the Middle East that we started. You know the civil wars that we made over there, uh, starting from Afghanistan, Iraq, to Syria, Libya, Lebanon, Yemen. You, you name it. You know Iran is just the last, the last piece of the puzzle, that is, you know, at, that is failing at its core because Iran is a huge country and it's you know it's backed by russia and china now if anything militarily happens the only allies are basically uh america and israel the two allies that start all the wars and you know they they have stand no chance going against china and russia and iran and you know all the proxy countries like uh north korea and syria and all the other ones so like militarily it's just it's just a disaster right now uh financially uh globally we don't know where the power shift is gonna go to hopefully a lot of people are gonna get exposed you know all these people the puppet masters behind the scenes that run our world the one percent you know that are part of the bilderbergs all these people the you know the 13 families the rothschilds the Rockefellers, you know, I'm not even going to go into that whole ordeal, but, and, and, um, Iran right now is going to hold naval drills, see, I'm, I'm just dropping many truth bombs right now, and you will see, it will come to fruition, uh, uh, I got insider sources that I've trusted for years, and they haven't been wrong so far, as the way things are headed now, so Iran is going to hold naval drills with china and russia and you know guess where it's gonna be it's gonna be in the strait of hormuz uh there was already you know there was already wars in the 80s uh with iran based on the strait of hormuz there was crazy conflicts in, with saudi arabia and iran and um israel that we tend to forget about but that's history you know and now it's all a culmination of events that are coming together and it's going to start, you know, it might it might start, you know, there's rumors of wars, you know, there's times of war right now, like it says in the Bible, it might start World War Three. it might start a different transition of power, if because America can't handle, can't rule over, uh, can't rule over all these countries anymore, just we can't do it financially. Even with the military-industrial complex, which is supposed to make money, but 
it's just like the Ouroboros is just eating its own tail. The the industrial complex of America, which has you know held up for the last hundred years, but with the two world wars, we you, we all know about the Freemasons, the Illuminati pacts that they had to start World War One with Trotsky and World War Two. You know, with Hitler, Stalin, all these key figures. And right now it's just coming to a culmination where uh, even Albert Pike predicted. You see, I'm going a little, I'm, I'm saying a little too much, but it's okay. I, I want to diverge this information to truthers because we're on another level already. And I'm not afraid to say these things. I could speak my piece. I'm not a big YouTuber yet, so I can, you know... I can, I can d diverge certain information. So with Iran holding uh, naval drills with China and Russia, and it's gonna be over there in the, in the, you know, in the Persian Gulf. We don't know what you know England and U.S. is gonna do with all these tanker wars that's been going on, and all this. Um, in my other video too, I just spoke about the Saudi crisis. You know, the 50% output of its oil. Uh, destroyed by Iran which was a total fluke because it was NATO missiles <laughs> that there was even pictures there was pictures that came out that show was uh, NATO missiles I, I covered this in another video of mine um, it had it had American <laughs> American lettering on the missiles which Iran missiles never could have and it's clearly uh, the format of a UN missile and even the structure of the cruise missiles themselves were made by NATO countries, parts and fragments of it, like the Czech Republic. So all this is a culmination of events to come. You know, we're approaching 2020. This is uh, Donald Trump's last year in power. And if who knows what's going to happen come the crazy 2020 year with all the, you know, all the election stuff and collusion and all these things and uh, all these uh, corruption deals with China and Iran 5G coming down the line you know there's a lot of things there's a lot of pieces to the puzzle that are coming coming together now so you know uh, let's pray for the best but you know be prepared keep your head you know keep your head on a swivel always be aware of your surroundings because you know all these uh, I'm gonna I'm just gonna say up front all these false flag <laughs> bogus banner events that keep happening at an alarming faster and faster rate mass shootings in the USA certain agendas like the trans agenda and many others transhumanism going down the line so all these things you see how you see how I just explained I just put all the pieces together um, all these all these pieces in the puzzle are just fitting and it's impossible to ignore anymore for even normal people, not just conspiracy truthists, you know, truthers and theorists. It's not really conspiracy theories no more, it's conspiracy truths that there are conspiracies going on. And um yeah, so back to the back to the bankers, the lead bankers, you see they they can't hold up the structure of the uh this big structure based on this foundation based on lies and deceiving and uh inflation and debt and you know interest rates that are piling up on people with you know all of you all of u.s citizens in major debt most of them the youth is in major debt to um colleges and uh, institutions that they can't pay back that they can't even get a decent paying job to you know based on their career choice that they can't pay back the student loans of, of upwards of a hundred thousand dollars coming out at you know 22 24 years old uh coming straight out of college and uh basically the sad reality is going to live in your parents basement back to your parents house again because you can't you can't find a steady job um and you know the debts are piling and you don't even have a mortgage a car loan 
credit card loans, yes, and the credit cards, you know, our loans have been going up and up, our debts have been piling and piling, and people are getting depressed, with 60%, 70% of Americans now on antidepressants and other medications, and this is just, this is just an unhealthy circle, unhealthy cycle, that is just, you know, it's like a, balloon that keeps you know keeps uh, getting bigger and just waiting to pop explode so how and from what side it's going to pop and explode we might not know but you know all these all these things about the fed bank you know uh propping up the this uh basically there might be a run on banks really soon and, um as i'm saying as early as next month because on they're gonna pay the 75 billion dollars every single day to keep the bank institution open until October 10th until that 7.5 trillion dollar um, um, amount runs out and then basically they're on floating air I don't know if they if, if they could print any more you know useless currency useless fiat money and things like that and where it's gonna go some people are saying there's gonna be a total economic global reset and you can't you can't really tell what that's gonna you, we can't even imagine what that's gonna be like um, because 2008 was never fixed it was just propped up it was just a bailout of the banks and it's happening again so I mean how can there be another bailout there's no bailout for the citizens for the tax paying citizens that you know pay for pay for everything the government and all these bankers do while they profit and they just put money in their pocket you know how much how much money do you actually need how much money can you have um the one percent and just you know not put it back into circulation into the economy it just it's just this uh, you know in my opinion it's just disgusting and it's been like this it's been like this for a very long time so it's not surprising anymore it's but it is shocking that the fed is you know bailing out this uh bank i don't know i don't know which one exactly but you know we'll find out real soon and supposedly october is going to be a very rough month for the economy and like i said 2020 is approaching last year of uh president trump in office and the the dems are still talking about impeachment proceedings and we have this uh unresolved conflict with Iran that keeps heating up getting worse and you know we're just gonna have to see what happens but this is the basically this is the top news that the mainstream you know even most internet alternative media sources won't tell you but I'm gonna tell you this I'm I'm relaying this information believe me or not I mean you could take my word for it but it's all there it's all written it's all written in the book as they say um, I'm not a big YouTuber, so I'm not sponsored by anyone. I don't have, I don't have anyone backing me. No, no agendas. No, you know, no certain intentions. Just, just to speak the truth. Just to, you know, share the truth with fellow truthers like myself that I've been following on YouTube for a while, for a long time, and I have my own sources. So, yeah, just a heads up for you guys. So always stay prepared. You know. Your family comes first. Most important is your family, um, your health, obviously, and your financial stability. But that's 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 an unknown now. So just just be ready for whatever, and you know, God bless us. Let's pray for the best, but be prepared for the worst, as they say. And you know, I put my trust in I I put my trust in God. I don't put my trust in just myself. Uh, uh, you know i pray for uh, you know i pray for a better world that we could that we are awakening a lot of people are awakening which is a you know a godsend it's a blessing but you know something has to be done about it. we can't just trust the plan and uh believe everything's gonna be all jolly so if you like this video you know please share please subscribe thumbs up this video please uh, if if you got that extra second to so give it a thumbs up and share it you know uh I, I, I i'm bringing a lot of attention a lot of uh truth over here i got my own sources for this so 
you know, let's just watch this play out and see where it goes. But that's uh, that's just that just where it's headed right now. I kind of summed it up, but there's way more to the story that I'm gonna I'm gonna keep posting content. So if you could subscribe and uh, just follow my channel and see um, the truth bombs. That's you know I might call some of my some of my videos truth bombs because that's what they are. Um, that I'm gonna drop every every I tr I'll try to drop a video every day every week. I'm gonna have new updates. Uh, like I said, I have my insider sources. I mean, if you dig deep enough, you can find them too. I've been following for years, so um, I, I never they've never let me down. You know the way things are going. It's it's it just been it just been like a straight line, a straight shoot to what's really happening in reality. So don't you know don't trust the mainstream media even CNN. I stopped watching Fox News because it's uh, that's another thing. It's all owned by Disney, and you know and social media is a lie too. There there's just been the Storm Mary Fifty One and that was a fluke. Uh, what happens in reality, you know, is totally different than what they write on social media and the internet. So, yeah, I went way beyond the time. It's a 20-minute video. It's the longest one I made. So, please, share, thumbs up, subscribe. I have a lot more truth bombs coming and a lot more information to disclose as we live in this very interesting time uh, where things might possibly change, hopefully for the better, you know, people get exposed People get exposed to the truth and the liars and the bankers, the deceivers, the grabblers, you know, that try to grabble at you, at you uh, have kept profiteering and winning, basically, you know, and they're all criminals. They all committed major felonies. So just look out for you yourself, you know, your family, keep your family close, keep your health wise. Health-wise, be um, vigilant. Be a vigilant, you know, person. I'm a vigilant Christian. You know, I trust in Jesus. I trust in God. That's the only person, <laughs> the only, you know, so, son of God that has uh, helped me out uh, in recent times. So God bless everyone, you know, and have a, have a great one. And expect more true drops from me. So subscribe to this channel. Thank you. So, okay, I'm signing out. Take care, guys. Bye.